Unfortunately, the Quran's denunciation of the doctrine of the Trinity seems to be based upon a gross misunderstanding of that doctrine. First, a bit of history here. Early Christian creeds adopted the language of speaking of Mary as the mother of God because she bore Jesus Christ. Now, to someone who is not familiar with the theology of the early church fathers, such an expression as the mother of God is bound to be misleading. What the church fathers meant by this expression is that the person whose human nature Mary bore is a divine person. But Mary did not give birth to the divine nature of Christ, but she could be called the mother of God since Christ, whose human nature she bore, was a divine person. But Muhammad evidently thought that Christians believed in a trinity composed of God, Mary, and their offspring, Jesus. It's no wonder that he was revolted by such a ridiculous doctrine. Muhammad's understanding of the trinity is evident in passages such as the following found in the Quran. Quote, God will say, Jesus, son of Mary, did you ever say to mankind, worship me and my mother as gods besides God? Glory be to you, he will answer. I could never have claimed what I have no right to. Or again, the Quran says, the creator of the heavens and the earth, how should he have a son, seeing that he has no consort, and he created all things? The doctrine that Muhammad rejected, namely that God the Father should consort with a human female to sire a son, and that these three should then be worshipped equally as gods, would be rejected by any Christian. 